kitarungu da seldom da sueleng ng mal bato kablal tamal la para mong e kasablo all sa edal mga tubra ni dil basyora ni dil al selorior ma korak may dara balul basyol sa edal mga tubra niya lang mal digyang ng mal el polutan mal gikyong la abebira isyu amle sa edal di nga ra kularay le mga rey Healthy marine ecosystems have the capacity to adapt to climate change. Today, plastic pollution is one of the greatest threats to the health of our ocean worldwide. At least 14 million tons of plastic end up in the ocean every year. This affects food security, human health, and marine biodiversity. The Republic of Palau is located in the northwest tropical Pacific and is famous for its pristine and unique marine environment, a diverse underwater seascape which attracts many tourists from all over the world. Palauans depend on their marine environment for food, livelihoods, education and cultural practices. Climate change and especially higher ocean temperatures, ocean acidity and sea level rise are adversely impacting the coral reefs and the marine ecosystems. These negative impacts are intensified by coastal and ocean pollution, some of which comes from the island itself, but even more originates from the surrounding land masses bordering the Pacific Ocean. Since 2019, the European Union-funded Global Climate Change Alliance Plus Scaling Up Pacific Adaptation Project has been working with national agencies and partners in Palau to scale up a previous initiative to address coastal pollution and at the same time instill a sense of environmental stewardship amongst youth and citizens. School principals and teachers from more than 30 public and private schools in Palau have been consulted about ocean pollution issues and trained in the measurement protocols. The secondary school students in Palau are monitoring microplastics and mesoplastics. The microplastics are 1 to 5 millimeters in size, and the mesoplastics are 6 to 25 millimeters in size. This size range is most readily ingested by seabirds and other marine animals. Youth in Palau are contributing to the Big Microplastic Survey, a worldwide program pioneered by the University of Portsmouth in the United Kingdom. High school students learn to lay out a rectangle on the beach and collect sand samples within the rectangle. They then use seawater and a simple kitchen sieve to filter out the tiny microplastic and shell pieces from the sand samples. Once back in the classroom, they dry, sort and record the microplastics. The data is compiled by the students and transmitted to the university in the UK. After each monitoring session, students conduct a beach cleanup. The activities for primary school students focus on understanding the value of a healthy ocean ecosystem and the threat posed by pollution, whilst introducing them to the scientific collection of data. Monitoring visits are conducted with students to different beaches. The trash is collected following careful safety guidelines and taken back to the school for sorting. On their return from the beach, the students empty the bags and sort them into different groups, such as food, paper, plastic, metal, glass, and miscellaneous items. The items are then divided into reusable, recyclable, and non-recyclable groups. The different categories of trash are then weighed, and the students record the data and prepare graphs, which can be updated over time to show trends. This monitoring activity has been aligned with the school's curriculum. For grade seven students, it is integrated into earth and space, as well as physical science. And for grade nine students, 
It is integrated into the coral reef, biodiversity, and scientific methods units.